high dynamic range, OLEDs, ultra-wide viewing angles, and 4K are just a few of the newest terms thrown at consumers over the last couple of years. You've probably recently gotten a 4K TV in the last year or two, and already you might be hearing grumblings that 8K is on the horizon. But will it be? Or will it be worth keeping your 4K TV around for a little while longer? I'll let you know, coming up. Hi, I'm Isaac, and this is Movie University. On this channel, I explain various aspects of the movie entertainment industry. If you like what you see today, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and consider supporting me on Patreon or PayPal. After this video, check out my Movie University swag shop at teespring.com. There are t-shirts, tank tops, leggings, phone cases, coffee mugs, and a slew of other things to include some original design t-shirts. Use promo code MU2017 for 15% off at checkout. 8K, is it a good thing? Anytime the next generation of TV comes out, there are added benefits alongside the increased resolution. 1080 HD video brought with it high frame rates. 4K brought along high dynamic range coloring. Who knows what 8K will give us? To help you understand 8K television technology, here are five things you should know about 8K with citations to primary sources provided in the description below. Number one, 8K has been around longer than you think. The first 8K TV was unveiled by Sharp at the Consumer Electronics Show in 2012. However, the first 8K camera was created by Ikegami in 2002. Number two, an 8K TV won't actually give you 8,000 lines of resolution. That number is rounded up. The actual resolution is 7,680 lines wide by 4,320 lines tall. That's four times the resolution of 4K and 16 times the resolution of HD. The resolution size was standardized in 2007 by the Society of Motion Picture and Television who decided that this resolution would be called 8K. Number three, with so many pixels on screen, can you actually see all that detail and enjoy it? After all, there is a limit to how much detail the human eye can see. The amount of detail you can see is defined by your personal physical features. This is why some people can see certain detail better even though they both might have near identical vision. When you take in an image, your eye takes in a miniature image of said image onto the back of your eyeball. From here, the image is spread across a bunch of light detecting cells called photoreceptors. Each of these receptors gets a small portion of what you're seeing based on the light, angle and separation of the image, which is based on the detail. If there isn't enough detail, the image can become blurry or merge details together. This is why the closer you are to an object, the more detail you can see. This is what makes higher resolution TVs attractive for showing content. The bigger the image, the more detail you can actually discern from the TV. Number four. There isn't a ton of content out there when it comes to 4K, let alone 8K. So why buy it now? YouTube has a few nature videos in 8K, but that's about all that's readily available. As far as I can tell, there aren't any 8K releases of movies or TV shows. There have been a few movies that have been restored in 8K, but to my knowledge, you can't buy them in that resolution. For instance, Sony restored and released the classic movie Lawrence of Arabia in HD for the film's 50th anniversary in 2012. The original film negatives were scanned in 8K to future-proof the movie for further future releases. The scans were of such high resolution that micro cracks could be seen in the film cells and a third-party company was called in to help fix the issue. If you're itching to buy an 8K TV though, there are some computer games you can play in 8K. The one thing you can look forward to in 8K though are the Olympics. The 2016 Olympics were broadcasted from Rio in 8K and the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo are set to be broadcasted in 8K as well through Japanese National Broadcasting Organization NHK. One of the benefits to the Olympics being recorded at such great resolution in 2016 was that NBC allowed some distribution of the 2016 games to be broadcasted at lower 4K resolution and in high dynamic range. The downscaling of the resolution meant that the images on TVs were particularly crisp. 
it's hard to gauge how long it'll be before 8K becomes mainstream. Consumers were a lot faster to adopt 4K TVs than was originally predicted years ago. Number 5. Luckily for consumers, technology to display 4K content properly has largely kept up with television. Chances are, if you have a 4K TV and stream 4K TV shows and movies, you watch them in 4K without much interruption. The internet bandwidth has been able to keep up with 4K, but 8K will require more than just faster internet. The next time you upgrade your audio receiver or buy new HDMI cables, look out for HDMI version 2.1 and receivers with built-in standards Super MHL and DisplayPort version 4.1. Here's the bottom line with 8K. Even if you go out and spend all the money to upgrade your entire entertainment system, TV, audio receiver, faster internet, newer cables, there's almost no content out there that you want to watch on a regular basis that's in 8K right now. Movies aren't being mastered in 8K, and almost nothing has been recorded in 8K. Yes, TVs can upscale their images, but that will not take advantage of full 8K screen resolution. So why are you already starting to see some 8K TVs in stores like Best Buy? Companies already know you better than you realize. Entertainment technology is about stimulating our senses. TV technology is moving in the direction of emulating the real. This is why high dynamic range coloring has been a big push alongside 4K TVs and in a lot of ways, images on high-end TVs with HDR look better than real life. Think about how amazed and mesmerized you are when you go to a store and stand close to those extremely sharp and gorgeous images. In an interview with ZDNet, Professor Park of Iwa Women's University in South Korea said, all visual experiences are subjective, and the evolution of TV has shown that consumers want more than just reproduction. Simple reproduction is no fun. People have a desire to see what they couldn't see before, and when it comes to 8K, I think it triggers more than just memory color, but evokes other sensory feelings to a degree that evokes to what I call hyper-realness. What do you think about 8K and 4K for that matter? Have you upgraded to a 4K TV yet? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please subscribe and share and support my work on PayPal, Patreon, and buying MU University merchandise. I'm Isaac, and this is MU University.